Well, let me first talk to those spirits. We'll talk to those spirits now. Right at this moment, there is literally thousands of spirits waiting to help them right now. These spirits are brighter spirits who want to help these spirits who are in a darker condition. Now, many of the spirits are here with us because they believed in reincarnation was their only hope. They believed that reincarnation, in other words, returning back to Earth, was their only hope of getting out of their dark condition. So they feel a very hopelessness now when I'm starting to say that there's no such thing as reincarnation in the way they believed it. Because they feel that, does that make sense to all of you too? Like, imagine for instance that you've believed all of your life that, that the only way for you to get better is to come back to Earth and relive another life where you can live it in a much more positive way. You'd be hanging out to come back, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's right. Because you believe that belief system so deeply in your soul, you put off things, the belief system you're saying is now being undone, yep. and now I'm filled with regret. Hopeless and regret. Hopeless. Well, the key thing for all of the spirits who are feeling these emotions is to feel your emotions. Cry and let yourself release these feelings, right? But remember that there's these bright spirits who are there waiting to tell you the truth. They're waiting to connect with you and talk to you about the divine truth, the real truth that God has created in the universe and how everything actually does work. And God's just waiting to help you, but you need to be open to this help. So if, if the bright spirits just show themselves to these spirits, which they are now, are now doing, and what they will do now is they'll, they'll show them, they've shown themselves to these spirits. Now, all of those spirits who are feeling this hopeless feeling about what I've been discussing, you can talk with these people. And please go and talk with them and, and, and listen to what they say about true progression. Right, so do that. And if you do that, you will not be so feeling so hopeless about the fact that there is no reincarnation as you've believed it. How are you feeling? You're feeling a bit lighter? I can just feel it. Yeah, no, that feeling. Um, where is the mic? Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't quite get it. Put it a bit closer. The mic a bit closer to you. Why do other spirits allow children to die if they've got the king and would be more loving to go and advise the spirits that are causing them? And they always go and advise the spirits who are causing leukemia. Because the spirit refuses to disconnect from the child. So, so this is all about, again, the law of attraction and the laws of free will. What actually happens is, this spirit here, if this child would have a guide, right? And a guardian. This guardian is trying to tell this spirit, don't do this, stop doing this, this is harming you, this child. But this spirit is often so consumed with its own emotions and its own selfish feelings that it doesn't want to do what the spirit's advising it. Do you follow me? How many times does this happen on earth? Somebody's hurting somebody else. I've had it happen in the last few weeks. Two people were hurting somebody else. I go and tell the person, you're hurting her, you know. And what do they do? Hurt her some more. You know, this often happens on earth and it happens, happens in the spirit world as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so these things are, there's a constant, God, once you are in the spirit world, you see this constant, constant effort by God and all of these spirits to make it better. But you also see the constant influence of the spirits who are selfish and full of other emotions trying to make it worse. So what truth does is expose all of this and make it better. That's what the whole point of this discussion really is about. Does that lower spirit think he's right? Yeah, this lower spirit thinks he's totally right. He's, he's able to do that. He wants to do it. And you're not going to tell him any different. And that happens on earth. And that happens on earth all the time, doesn't it? All the time. Yeah. And that same emotion many people pass with, of course. And so they are just going to keep learning what they want to do until their pain gets so great that they stop. That's the thing. 
spirits even at our age? Any age. It all depends on it. Like, like I, I've had spirits with me the last few days of different emotions that I've been processing. I feel spirits be attracted to that emotion because they have the same emotion. It's just all to do with the law of attraction. Because I went to Cambodia to the killing fields, and since that time, I've been on emotional rest. Right. Okay, so what's probably happened is there's a spirit there who was, who was killed and, and that spirit is attached to you because there's a like attraction. There'd be an emotion in you that feels the same as the emotion in them and it's actually a law of attraction to help you deal with that emotion and help the spirit deal with that emotion. And the key is to allow yourself to feel those emotions completely and connect with your causes and the spirit who's with you, who's now listening to this, needs to connect with her causes as to what happened to her. Right? in the same manner. And if you both do that, you will both feel lighter. Yeah. Can I just make an observation? Before you were talking to the spirits, I would only really stay awake. I, I was just flat and wanted to come home with it. And all of a sudden, I just woke up. So what do you feel happened there? Well, I think probably a spirit was sitting on my head or something. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of times what's actually happening is like that. A lot of times what's happening is there are spirits not wanting to hear certain things. And what they do if they're with you is they want you to not hear it too. You follow me? And so you get all sleepy and you get all lethargic. You won't feel involved in the whole discussion. And then all of a sudden when they have a realisation, all of a sudden you perk up as well, right? Because now they've had a realisation, they're no longer affecting you with your realisations. Honestly, spirit influence is constant in your life. Every single moment of your awake and sleep time, you spend usually in company. Right? Whether you know it or not. It's funny, 15 minutes ago, I was going off to sleep. I yeah. Through part of the discussion. Yeah. He was just saying that 15 minutes ago he was going to sleep. Now he's fairly alive. You know? uh, going back to something you talked about earlier with uh, illness and then taking it back further where you said sometime in the future the world's population will be at a point where we're all aware of this. Does that mean once we're all aware of that and we're all exercising our free will in harmony with love? There won't be any illness. That's there right. There won't be any issue that way. There won't be any illness at all. This is a bit sounding like Utopia. That's what I can feel from some of you. Like, oh, this is getting a bit way out there, Utopia. <laughs> <laughs> and, but this is the way God created the universe. It's just that we're so far removed from it, it doesn't happen. And all we need to do is bring ourselves into harmony with it, and it will begin happening, right? And um, can we get back to the discussion? Uh, what's the next point? General memories of previous life experiences, mostly previous passing death experiences. Okay, how many of you have had that? Where you've had the feeling that you died as this person or that person, this kind of experience? Some of you, right? What's actually happening is this. Here's you. Here's a spirit in the spirit world. It doesn't have to be the same gender. Right? There's a law of attraction emotion between the two of you. Right? If it was an opposite gender, it might be... A, when I say law of attraction emotion, it doesn't mean it's the same emotion. It means it's a synthetic emotion. Do you understand the difference between this? Right? Okay, I'll explain. A sympathetic emotion is, let's say, I feel like I'll do anything for a woman no matter what. What kind of a woman am I going to attract? A woman who's going to boss me around and do anything she wants. Does that make sense? That's the law of attraction. You follow me? That's what I would call a sympathetic attraction. Now, all attractions are usually based on sympathetic attractions. So we have a spirit in the spirit world. So here's the spirit world, here's the earth, you're here. Now, you already have similar emotions. And then what happens is something triggers in your life and all of a sudden you get a flood of events or an event, usually as one event, come to you along with some emotions and some pictures even flowing into you. Right? 
And what it is, is this spirit is telling you her or his experience. Trying to connect with you. Like, we are similar. We have similar emotions. I had this experience when I was on earth too. And, you know, that's what the spirit's trying to do in the majority of cases. Right? But what do we do? Because we believe in reincarnation, we interpret it as a past life. Which actually complicates the problem. Both for yourself and the spirit. The spirit now feels unheard. Oh, you know, there's another person I tried to connect to and, you know, they're not hearing me, they think it's them, you know. So there's, there's this confusion often in the spirit. But also for ourselves, we are then attributing a lot of our emotions to this past life and avoiding the emotional experience that's being triggered, which is actually quite damaging to us. Does that make sense, what's going on there? 